I'm excited for this one. We got BOG versus T1. Honestly, kind of a fun rivalry between these two rosters, keeping the majority of the core and being favorites at a lot of international tournaments. They've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe a lot, so this ended up being a best one that, for me, delivered. Uh, as we get to see BOG fall to 1-2, which is a bit of a surprise for a lot of people. Uh, but 2 one been playing all right in the world, so excited to dive into what happened this game. As always, feel free to like, comment, and especially sub if you guys want to see more for Worlds of Honor View, and follow me everywhere at CubbyXX, especially on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, where I stream these great, live. Like you said, uh, King in. Willie, thanks for the follow. Speaking of streaming, yeah, guys, we do it live. Anyway, diving on in. We got BLG versus T1. Uh, good game. An interesting draft, because we had first pick Ari for Knight. He is insane in this champ, but... Uh, looks like Ori is just going to be banned away from Faker. And also the Nocturne ban. Nocturne has really risen in Pryo. I think the reason that Nocturne's risen in Pryo so much is the ability to play sides or flip winning side matchups. Not to mention some of the Wombos you can get as well. Uh, but I was really surprised because I did see, say, earlier in the tournament that it'd probably be Ori and Nar banned away from these guys. But we have the Zeus Nar versus uh, Bin Jax, which is a treat and a half in itself. But I do think that with the changes made to Nar and with the Grasp being taken and with Grasp on Jax, I actually think that the build that pros are going... I kind of favor Nar with the impact that he's having in games. And I, I know that Blippo is, I think, the same way, too. Uh, he was hinting at it when he was at Worlds, but I think that Grasp really helped Nar in this matchup. Um, like, Fleet, it was really tough to space Counter-Strike with Fleet, so it didn't matter. So the fact that you can go full Green Tree, uh, get Demolish procs, get more plates, get uh, Overgrowth later on for Nar and stack up some bonus health is actually really good. So I'm really pro... Um, Really pro Nar right now, and yeah, I mean this is just a fun matchup though. Um, all right, my issue in this draft, I I mean I think the T1 definitely picked a early brawl comp. I think the mistake here was Jin. Uh, again, I think that we have a lot of ability to create space. Jin is a powerful blind, but I would have liked to see a better AD left up in this scenario. I think Callista later on, especially in lower damage games and comps, you have a lot of space that you can be uh be made for Callista. And if she isn't killed, then her damage can actually take over later on in the extended fights. If she's just able to continuously auto, it's actually not bad. Uh, so, yeah, Goom ends up playing that really well, too, later on. I think that Kalista, I mean, the Poppy pick, too, like, you're just signing up to lose bot lane here. So, for me, it's winning top, winning bot for T1 in a jungle matchup where you can make plays. Uh, so, I actually did favor the T1 draft in this. Only bummer is that you don't get great alts if you are Faker. Um, I actually don't know what the AP ratio is on the Scar Roll. I assume it's not that much. But yeah, Faker has... I mean, you can kind of control team fights by taking away Poppy Scar Roll, but I don't think it's great alts for Faker overall, so... Um, but I don't mind the Silas pick. I think it actually fits with the comp. Oh, shit. Runes. Um, wait, Ben didn't do anything special here. I'll show Ben Runes real quick. Those are standard. Scar standard. Ari with the Grasp build again. I don't get Grasp Ari. I, I, I really don't. I think if you're going to run this, like, I'd, I'd rather just, like, run First Strike. I don't know. I, I just, I don't get this. I feel like people are playing off Dopamine in the main. I don't know, like, what games this actually changes things for you. Uh, Electrocute Silas. So, again, Bursty. I mean, gr Grasp does help against that, ironically. Everything else is pretty fun. Um, I will say Demolish Bone Pointing. I actually, again, uh, Kalista is one of the champs where I actually really like greeting, conditioning, and overgrowth. So, uh, those those are OP runes. They really are. Anyway. Owner dropping a ward on this wraps. Spotted. Yoji defending their bot side. Knight started Charm. So Faker actually should win level 1 now. Because he started E. You just get Electrocute proc for free. Okay, so Swap is spotted. Faker drops a late ward. It's going to scout if and when they cross. Owner started off on enemy red. Uh, carry has a bigger impact here than on. And, yeah, again, I... I I'm surprised how many swaps are being handshaken. I, I, again, I really think this is a scenario where if Bin starts bot, you can actually soak XP. I really do. Like, we've seen Impact do it on Jax a lot. With Counter-Strike. 
Uh, nah, yeah, he TPs in at... Okay. I mean, he TPs in at 3 and he gets everything, but Zeus is going to get solo XP here, which is nice for Zeus, and also just in the better lane. Yeah, so Ben has to walk back, and he's going to be late to that wave. So this, this lane swap's better for T1. A lot of handshakes in this lane swap. It's better for T1, though. My logic... Bin TPing to this wave ends up having to share because they have to defend the dive. By them committing first, Zeus now gets the free free ear lane on the top side, where Skarner's away from the action. Uh, because of the clears, again, like I, I, I really think these timers are defendable. You know, the on, I mean, on, it's because of on. Like, if on stays up, then I don't think this uh, play pattern can actually happen. So I, I think BLG actually breaking this is a mistake. I'll be, I'll be real. I, I think if On walks north, then you just, just trade. And then you, you actually force Zeus to TP into the lane with the Jax, and you maybe get a TP advantage. Instead, Bin TPing to this side, it's the worst side of the map. And Zeus is going to get this next wave in. All, like The big thing for me is, again, Zeus gets solo XP up here. And then because they pussy out of the swap, like if you left the Jin up here, it's fine. Getting Jin accelerated is kind of whatever, but then you'd be losing out in the top lane matchup for like Jax and Bin. Because of the XP diff. Like, Bin would be sharing, whereas Zeus would not. So, again, I think that by BLG breaking the play pattern, they actually allow for T1 to get away with this. If On stays up here with Wei, then they actually would be able to, like, pressure or threaten a dive if Zeus came in. Instead, by On showing and having to defend, we're teeping into a scenario where Jax is going to be under siege and splitting creeps. Whereas now that we're showing, Zeus can hop out and go farm top solo for free. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 actually very pro T1 with this swap. I think BLG played this poor. I don't think BLG should opt out of the opt out of the play pattern. They should force Zeus to TP up. And just just split like top one XP. This gave Zeus an XP advantage. And a base advantage. Because he based after an extra wave in. Oh, okay. It doesn't show an inventory really. But you got a control word. Uh Goomba got a base advantage though too. Because, again, like, uh, he got to base second. So, again, BLG opting out of that play pattern actually hurt them a lot. It hurt them a lot. Meanwhile, second clear is going to be a little bit funky. Nice. Uh, Carrier threw the clone at him. Caught it. I mean, again, off the swap, like... So Ben gets this wave in. That means that Zeus, on this timer, by the way, he's got Mega and a wave shoving out. So they get to play Grubs for free, because Faker will TP back. So, like, yeah, Faker is down in this matchup, right? But he's out of mana. Like, he went D-Shield and second win to just eat it against the Ari. But him TPing on the timer that he does really helps T1 with the grubs. I th this is the grubs TP timer, right? And T1 won the bot trade, so... Yeah, but like Zeus had the stacking wave. He just got out of Mega. There's no way that Bin can contest this. Bin's coming out of base. And, I mean, T1 are fisting across the map. Jesus Christ. I, their early game is good, but yeah, they're getting the two grubs... Really, really nice from T1 across the board. Really nice from T1 across the board, actually. Really like how T1 are playing this. I think the big things for me, I, I, like BLG are just kind of signing up to lose this bot lane with the Poppy, man. I'm still really out on Poppy support. I'm really wondering if that pick gets, uh, like what picks change or drop in Pryo for this upcoming week. Cinder's already been dropped. I called that. 
I guess I I gotta say my meta read's been pretty good so far. I, I I was pretty good in the meta, unironically. What do they nerf for the current patch? I still think Cinder's strong. I just think in comp she's too abusable. The poppy support. Yeah, yeah, I just it, you're you're it's the fakest pit. It's so fucking fake, man. I, I swear Leona and Relis should still win these matchups in the 1v1. It's you're just taking it for utility later on. Alright, anyway. Uh BLG is gonna start up the dragon. This is post grubs. On gets a nice trade. This this is nice from on. And pick the right one. That's good. And then away catches out owner, who is completely one shot. And Faker. He's he's got Ari alt, so he's gonna try. Okay, Faker actually did some gaming here. This is pretty nasty from Faker. That's that's actually really well played by Faker. I'm I'm a fan. Like again, let's just watch her fucking poppy support down aftershock just gets smelted. Yeah, nice. Uh Faker's gotta go down because Ben's coming. And uh, honestly, this is close. Like I Faker did play this really well. Knight's down flash, by the way. This is just damage calc. If Elk doesn't have fourth shot, Knight dies there too. Because uh, Elk's got to catch the second E. So, I mean, kind of hyphy from Faker. I was down for it. I'll, I'll be real. Uh, good setup though from Way. Good recovery from T1. Uh, on overextended here. I think on, like, on, on chasing here, like, he literally just killed himself. I, I really, yeah, I, I don't like Poppy for on at all. Like, get this guy on Renata, Leona, Rel. Like, he's really, on's really, really, really good. He has not had a great tournament. Uh, but, I mean, this is the shit that T1 and Karia wants to play. So, as always, T1, they're so fucking good. They just get to dictate the meta. I mean, T1 just playing a very T1-like drafting comp. Um, it's match bases for the Jax and the Nar again, like. I wonder if Carry had changed to the minion there to decrease the size of the hit of the hitbox. Okay, so Ben went bot here. TP is up for Zeus, so. I mean, opting into this play pattern, BLG, they have to hit the grubs down because this is uh, the wave or the waves where they actually have strength. And T1, they're going to group push mids, so they're dropping top, but Jin can't push that fast. And Zeus, again, has TP. He just has to build up a mega bar now. Bin has to walk. So I, T1 are kind of stalling for Zeus here. Yeah, okay, they're just going to give. Okay, oh, that's well played by BLG. They got T1 to drop a wave or two. And T1 got cold feet a little bit. I don't blame him for that. I think a BLG's fight's pretty good here. Like, Wei's on... They, they have completed item for mid-jungle. That's that's pretty significant. I, I, I'm I down with T1 dropping this. Uh, okay, well played by BLG. They, they get Zeus uh, a little bit of time in the bot lane, so... How'd this play happen? Uh, recompense is that mid prior does go to T1, though. And then they're responding to the top, which is Faker. And Carry is here. They're going to take a fight. Wait, did Faker trade this? Curious. Who gets to control this? Who the fuck is moving? Is it Way or Faker? I mean, if Faker's smart, he throws him in the carrier, so... Maybe it's just rival clicks? Like, how the fuck does that work? I, I, I do not know. I, genu I genuinely do not know. Either way, good play from T1. Uh, I think BLG are A, overcommitted, and B, it is double advantage for support, so they take advantage of it. Elk can participate, but, I mean, 
only only to shots. Sure. And while this is all going on and there's action topside, Zeus is winning bot. Again, the, the Nara winning this uh, matchup in isolation, I do think that the grass change was really big for the Nara. This is a good swap, though. Like, the fact that Faker was able to hold on to those waves, they at least uh, get Zeus this wave. So Zeus doing a nice job of using his prio and then picking up another wave where they can pressure this quick. So good tempo play from T1 here. It's not the best matchup for Zeus, but they needed to do that to catch that wave, and it's fine. IMO. Uh, Faker can get just tapped by Ben, though. I do not understand this play from BLG. I, I, I just, I don't get this from BLG. I really don't. Like, for me, they, they should have sent the Jax back up top. And then they should have put Ari bot. I, I, I mean, I, I see this play coming. Like, I, I for sure see Zeus going top here. Not really, really well played by Zeus here. Yeah, it's like throwing him into the tower. They eat tower shots, and then he keeps the harass going. Good charm by Knight. Was not tanked. I don't know if Carrie had W or not. I mean, they at least get the wave in, and then Faker gets a free one bot. Like, he is able to catch that, which is good. Because, again, the Jax into the Silas can be dangerous for the Silas here. Oh, Faker rocket belted away so that he kind of get locked up by the poppy. That's actually... Dude, fuck, man. I know I like Faker Silas, but... It's good to see him locked in. That's actually a really good rocket belt. Because if not, like he can get chained up. And he's still got the flash out in the end. That's that's really well played. Um, this is a sack for I mean BLG are just losing across the map here. Part of it's because of how the top lane play one. I do really like how T1 plays this out. I mean BLG are just sacking ways everywhere. Zeus is now going to sack top to secure this, which is good. I'm like he can TP back up to catch it, so it's yeah, it's super chill. I mean that's that's so good from T1, and then Knight TPs. It does draw out Faker TP, but bot's neutral, so it doesn't really matter. It's going to go to Fen. Okay, I mean they got Bin at least a tab bit of free time, but now Bin's just gonna doesn't use it super well. I there's nothing you can do, but. They got Dragon for, like, bin free time and attempted play, but nothing. Yeah, I mean, T1. They, they had an early game draft. They have a 2 gig goalie. It's really good. I, 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 re I really prefer T1's draft in this game. I do not think that BLG has enough damage because of their bot side. I think the T1 are just taking the Oonga Boonga comp with Kalista is actually quite good. Uh, well played. Uh, I think we try to get out of it with the... I think if anything, Fager, Fager's flash is poor. Like, we're, we're flashing the way rock. If there's anything we're going to flash, it should be Night Q, even if Night can reposition. Uh, so I, I do think Fager misplayed that a little bit, but we'll give credit to BLG. It's a good play. On pick the, the clone. And then it's Vine Eco. Really nice flash there, by the way. So this is an overextension from T1. I mean, I, I don't mind the response again. On is free. On, on is free on my screen. I think the issue is that Guma... Like, on, like, honestly, I think Guma needs to flash an elk. If I'm being real. 
I think I think that's how you win the fight. If if Goomba flashes on Elk here, I, I actually think it's winnable. But I I yeah, I just don't think we can chase Elk. But again, the collapse is big. So like T1 has to play out this way. So I can't blame him for it. I but again, if if Goomba were to flash an Elk here with Zeus collapsing, unironically, you do kill Elk. Like, as an eco ult goes off, have Goomba flash an elk. I, I think it's winning. I actually think that that was the way out for T1. Which, uh, that's a tough call to make, right? I'm not going to hold that one against T1 and Grandma. So. Good defense, though, uh, from BOG. I, I think they responded to that play pretty well. T1, uh, it was the pick on is for sure there. Um, I think, again, if Goomba proactively flashes, I think that they actually get out of that winning. So I, I don't hate the play from T1. I think On is like not having a great game. He's been super legally positioned in both his deaths. I love how at multiple times this game, we've just had the solo laners just port to the same lane for whatever reason. It's Seeker second for Bin. Uh, he did find... This is actually a timer where he wins, so props to Bin for finding this. I mean, I, I, this matchup's so fun, man. I, I, I literally think it's the best Jax versus the, be the best Nar in the world. I, I'm, I'm being real. Good, good TP from Faker. It was, it was needed. The rocket belt to get out of the second Q and then forcing the RER out of the second Silas Q is pretty sweet. We do like that from both of our gamers. And I already TP'd and got chunked. So unironically, because Zeus has port and Ari does not, it is a win for T1. So really good focus. I mean, how did Knight get chunked, by the way? Was he tanking the wave? Oh my god, he's tanking... Oh. I can't see how Knight got chunked here. It must have been from a Faker trade. And then he has it for the bot play. Wow. I mean, that's really nice, actually. Like, Knight not resetting and then being low, it fucks the dragon. I know that BLG said that their patch or meta read like, hasn't been the best, and I do agree, but I just don't think BLG has been playing map well. Which is which is shocking to me because like this team, I mean this this team's so good at closing out games. They're, I I just don't think they've like Thanos as many teams in lane. It's been a bit of an uh, been some oopsies from them for sure. But yeah, like this team when they get a lead, I mean it, they're just merciless in LPL. Uh, I do like the Leandres coming out of night. I was surprised it was that first. Thought it was going to be Morello on the Leandres, but I think Leandres on Ari is actually like really slept on slash needed slash good. Seekers from Ben gets in the solo kill, really nice. I I, I thought like Ben was set behind from the swap this game. I, I do think that Ben's actually like played it out really well. I I, I thought Ben had a good game. Uh, ben and Zeus both had a good game here, but he gets solo kill this time. No faker TP to defend him. I'm wondering if T1 could have planned around this a little bit better. Like, could have protected this side. But they're trying to protect mid. So, hold on.
That's that's nice. Some space for BLG. And we got second item Zanya's on Jack's blog. I mean that that's pretty interesting into the NAR. I was not expecting that from Ben, but I mean if anyone's gonna know this matchup, it's gonna be Ben. Really, really good stall here by Zeus. Okay, let's think about this play from BLG perspective. That's a that's a such a good stall by Zeus. Rotation's better though from BLG. I, I think part of it is the uh they were faster on mid. Because Jin can interact, right? And then they just lock up Faker. Like they they had numbers here faster, right? Like that the difference is Wei being here. But Wei was spotted. Yeah, I, I just don't think Zeus should hit this wave. Like he's thinking that if he pops Mega, he's safe enough, but uh it's bad. Nice. Good job, BLG. Also, it's interesting that Faker picked up the Aether Wisp and has sat on it since. Like the move speed on the Silas. That's interesting. A very obvious choice. All right. Uh, good play by BLG, honestly. I, I mean, they just end up not being able to do this because they get Thanos by Guma. But I, I was super down with that play from BLG. That's the best play they've had all game. I mean, again, this is kind of on on for me. Um... So On's going to cancel the ult and hold it? What happened here? Oh, that's really interesting, actually. I mean, this is missynced by Guma and Karia, because they only get the knockup on On and Wei. Not even, really. But, I mean, the fact that Guma, like, is able to just... I mean, the, 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 it's really, really good from Owner. Because Knight's ult this, so Knight's like half the champion, right? Just, uh, it's just a, it ends up being really good. I think if they let Karia finish this, like, this fight on the start from T1 is too good. Like, it's right after on cancels the ult too, so it's not like he's getting Keeper's Verdict back instantly, which is doable. Wow. I mean, I was impressed with this the first time I saw it, but the second time I see it, it's 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 actually it's way better from T1. Actually, this is ridiculous. Uh, Bin's really big, so Bin is able to get at least the Callista, which is big, but then gets taken down. They they took the damage away first, so I mean, Bin trading himself out for Goom is correct. It's like if there's any hope of stopping the Baron, it is that, even though they can't. Like him being around for the with Guma up is bad. Wow, I that that's that's so fucking good from T one guys. Also, what is? Well, it was just not big, big of that fight. I, I I think I mean hindsight twenty twenty right, but BLG with no alts are just not the same team as BLG with alts. It comes to their comp, and T one had all their alts up. I mean to be fair, T like T one gets to play with more alt timers because Silas and our alt timers are jokes, but they kept their bot lane alt timers up. That was the difference. Just alts. T1 played it really well. Owner's alt was really good. Guma's flash in was really good. So, good shit, T1. Oh. Now Soul's on the table. Oh, two drinks? All right, let's go. So T1's going to play through bot. They spot out Ben. I mean, On gets two. And then Faker gets just tossed around. 
I mean, honestly, the stall from Faker's not bad. Uh, he doesn't have Zanyas available for this fight. I don't know why he's going in. I, th I think what Faker's trying to do is honestly tank this. Because it, it, I, I think he was trying to tank the R. Like, if, if on R sim and he hits the E, then he does he does follow through. It's like, it's the same interaction as Leona, right? So I, I think that's Faker's idea. But he gets knocked up. And then they all have to deal with Ben, who, to be fair, is very strong. I mean, honestly, this is a worthy trade, though, if I'm T1. I, I, I will trade Faker for Ben in a heartbeat in, in this fight. I know they dropped Dragon, but that, that, that for me is a very worth trade. Well played by Knight in the back half. Uh, the wave flash is good, but um, Knight gets the kill to get the reset, and the Q and the dash in is very good. I mean, again, on on cannot further commit to this fight. It's just uh, I I think the fact that Ben's gone right away, and then Elk just gets popped. Elk's positioning is not good here. He ended up greeting for Guma, and he kind of lost Rosé. This was in the fight. BOG gonna lose to PSG? Or can I wait? I don't think so. I will say that I I I said that if PSG made it the quarters quarters, they would not be as surprised as most. I think P, I, I think PSG is a good team. On's going to sacrifice himself for the, the mid laner. That's the right call, but again, kind of tough. Owner was really big in that fight. Yeah, I think three alts in the bin is worth... Like they, they threw three alts in the bin and won the fight, you know? Still really like how Knight played the clean up on the Guma. It's just the, the Nars doing too much damage. And again, Ari with alt down and not able to pop. Like, I like, fuck the Grasp Ari, man. Like, what what did Grasp Ari... I know it's more for the end, but like, what did it give you this game? I, I, just, I really just don't get this tech. I, I, I'm very, I'm very anti-Grasp Ari. Yeah, I mean, Ari did a bajillion damage, and I still feel like Grasp was fucking useless. I, I you can go Green Tree Secondary and Ari. I, I think it's fine. I just, I don't, I don't get the Grasp. It's also like a land where traditionally you just go electrocute and call to them. You get to apply it a lot against Silas. I mean, like, literally, I want, I want to see conquer Ari over Grasp Ari. Like, legit. I think the issue is, though, like, in some of the matchups, you have to go Green Tree. And people don't want to drop Blue Tree. Even though Presence of Mind and the Ability Haste is like, it's not as good as the Manifold Band and the, um, wh whatever the fucking transparency thing is. The Ability Haste you get from Blue Tree and Second Tree as the head. Um, I, I think, I don't think people want to drop shit like that. So I think, like, green and blue just feels good. I, like, it's part of it, but again, I just, I don't get Grasp. I, I just don't get it. I would be very pro First Strike Ari, by the way. I think First Strike Ari is like Omega slept on. The pop you get is First Strike Ari's big. No, the Andres is fine. You're going up against like three health stackers on the top side. I think the Andres is fine. And it's Death Cap Throw, which is really based because Ari AP ratios are fantastic. So, I'm fine with that. Trade aside, T1 preferring the bot side. They're going to go fix it now. Ooh. Knight too scared to play that next wave. Zay's going to pop Mega now. So we won't have it. The T1 are able to play the three lanes. They drop mid to play the two sides.
Really nice all from owner. He actually got around Skarner all from this. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm getting carry alts out is not bad, but I think the damage was done. Like, Faker bought a lot of space. And yeah, like, owner loses GA, but then bins alone. And it's pretty much all the way that owner uh, and Zeus damage. Like, Zeus is doing so much damage in mini. He was just not pressured and weighing on again, no damage. I, I, it's just a no, dude, it's a no damage team from BOG, man. I, sw I swear, I, I've been seeing so many no damage drafts at Worlds. I, I just, I, I do not get it. I, I still think the fighters and the brawlers top side are just the way to go. Um, I, I mean, part of it's Jin is super meta and you got to be careful about damage with Jin, but. Oh boy. That's one way to end it. Yeah, I no alts for BLG and T1 force really hard. This is really good. T1 won one fight without alts, and keep in mind they they saved they saved the Meganar, the Pop Blossom, and then Faker gets his alt back. So I really like how hard T1 force just good alt economy fight. It's the Overwatch tech. So they don't even take Baron. They just they play out this play, and then they're gonna reset, which again is really based. Oh no, they play for N. That's right. Uh, these are the fights where Guma is like really thriving as Callista, right? Low damage team, big front line. Nice all from on the try. But yeah, that's it. Well, well played T1. Really well. That's, I really like how they ended that game. I really like how they ended that game. Uh, yeah, anyway. All right, guys. That's it for BLG T1. Good shit from T1. I, I think BLG, uh, uh, some of their map plays just not... Not super fantastic. I don't like how they played out that swap. I thought Ben actually played a really good map, but um, the double TPs in the sides like actually kind of help T1 slow things down. And BLG did not fight with their alt economy, which is really weird from them. Uh, so I think BLG has to be a little bit more respectful of that and maybe take a little bit more damage in the comps moving forward. But uh, well played from T1. A lot of good stuff from them. Uh, fun game. As always between these two teams, we'll say. Anyway, 